Welcome back to another episode of Lulu's Perch. In this episode, I am going to try and escape a jackknife. So what's happened here is I've delivered about a ton or two of soil to a friend's place and his driveway is really quite steep and I thought, ah, this baby's a four wheel drive, it might just make it. But as soon as I started coming down with all that extra weight, it started pushing me down the hill and I've tried to turn and put the handbrake on and the ground is completely sodden where the front tires hit and it's just slid, slid, slid. I've got a complete 180 and taken out his fence post, which is now stuck underneath the car, so I can't go forward. The trailer has followed me and jackknifed, so now I can't go back. So the only thing that I've got left to do is to get one of those jack pumps to get myself out of a jackknife, lift the car up a bit, take some tension off this post and that trailer, and hopefully I can pull them out Get the hell out of here. Jack knife. All right, so we've got our jack here, and we're gonna put this part in line with the chassis, which is the strongest part of the underside of the car. So, how's your day going? <laughs> I've got a feeling that Jack's not even gonna reach the chassis. If that's the case, I can just put a couple of bricks under there. So the jack didn't reach. So now I'm grabbing some pavers. Getting close. Have a look. So I'm gonna see if I can just shimmy this out. Oh, there's movement. Yes. Ha ha. And this chain is exactly here for this reason, I believe. Come on. Get out. Watch out! <laughs> oh, one disaster after another. All right, so I'm gonna move forward and left a little bit to try and ease this angle off. See how we go. Call out if you hear any crunches. Or leave a comment down below if you think I should be doing something different. It'll be too late, but try it. All right, so there's good news and a little bit of bad news. The good news is that the trailer is now off the tire. So we can get in there with the, uh, with the jack and lift up the car a bit because this part here is now resting on the chassis underneath. So we've got to lift up the car, try and get this, tola, uh, <laughs> try and get this trailer tow bar off and then get the trailer out of the way, move the car out to a better position hopefully get out of here. Moving, moving, moving. Oh. Did it fall over sideways? Yeah. Dude, I bench a jack. <laughs> Jeez, and come on. It's got wheels. All right, we got so close, except for a flimsy bit. Oh, that's metal. I thought it was plastic. It's caught on the tire. There's a lot of pressure on that tire. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. That's got a lot of pressure on it. So we tried getting the truck out. The trailer is now disconnected, which is great, but it's too steep to get back out. So the neighbor has kindly let us cut the barbed wire fence. Pusher. 
and I'm actually going to drive it through her property to her connecting driveway so I can get out of here. Guys, we just got ourselves out of a jackknife. I hope you enjoyed that episode. So, try and get outside. Don't get yourself in a jackknife anytime soon. And I'll see you in the next chapter. Catch ya.